this week in the field, less than optimal conditions and having to shoot through glass. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. Before I get into today's topic, I wanna to get your photo questions. If you got a question about photography, whether it's camera side, post-processing side, I'd like to hear from you. Your questions help feed the idea engine behind this show and I'll usually turn an answer around to you in a couple of days. And uh, it helps everyone, I think. You know, you get an answer to your question, it certainly makes me think about my photography, so I'm gonna get better. We all get better together, that's the whole point. So today, uh, I share a little footage from a, um, a kind of an impromptu outing I made in Shinjuku, Japan, in uh, Tokyo, in the city. I wanted to get a, a shot of the nighttime buildings, and the weather really hadn't cooperated with me for the days that I was in Tokyo. Uh, it was kind of rainy, but the rain started to let up a little bit, so I said, all right, I'm going to get out there, I'm going to try and do this shoot, and well... Uh, is shooting in a public place, uh, you know, observatory in one of the government buildings. As I'm walking there, the rain started picking up, and in my head I'm going, oh man, that means there's going to be, you know, water on the glass of the windows. And, well, when I got to the place, too, I couldn't even use my tripod. I'm balancing stuff on, on top of my, my pack to get things going there. And I uh, had to deal with the glare that was coming uh, in this scene as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The top of the... Tokyo Metro building on a very hazy, cloudy, misty day. It's been raining all day in Tokyo. And I'm trying to get a, uh, a skyline shot. And now a couple of challenges. Number one, uh, the haze that you see. But number two, you can see the reflections I'm dealing with. Can't use a tripod here. So I'm trying to get as close as I can to the glass to minimize those reflections. And balancing the camera on my camera bag and using the self-timer to, uh, to fire the shutter. It's working reasonably well, and it's just a matter of compromise between the type of composition I can get and uh, the amount of stability I can get with the camera. One more view to the south. I actually like this set of buildings more, although the glare is much more challenging in this particular direction, and it's only going to get worse as the sky outside gets darker. So we'll see if we can make the best of what conditions we have. So the best that I was able to accomplish is thankfully I was wearing like an overshirt so when I got the camera balanced and close to the glass I take my shirt and wrap it around the camera to cut out some of the light hitting the the glass area around where my lens was shooting through and that cut things down to uh, a decent enough degree I was able to come away with with a shot of those buildings I like that is okay it's a, it's a good enough it's a memory of the uh, the outing it's not a portfolio worthy thing but uh, I'm happy with the result. And using my shirt to kind of shield the interior lights from bouncing off that glass and playing Avic with uh, all the glare really helped. So that's the tip of the week. And uh, the darker and thicker the shirt or jacket you have, the better. And I do believe there are you know specific types of uh, things that can go on the front of your lens where if you're able to get right up against the glass, you can put those things on it and that will uh, cut down the glare as well. And that'll do it for this week in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know somehow. Social shares are always appreciated. Likes on the video, comments are great. Love to hear what's on your mind, what you're thinking about. Again, photo questions, please send them in. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.